Well, hey guys, I need to get the blades on my mowing deck changed, and I have got two tricks that I do that make this a snap. I'd love to show them to you, so come on. You know me, guys. Let's get busy. <music> All right, so as you can see, the first trick that I love to do is to use my bucket and use the hydraulics off of it to lift the mowing deck up. So I've got everything locked down. I have put a safety block in just in case it was to fall. It won't completely fall on me. And then I'm gonna get up. I'm only gonna stick an arm in at a time, not my whole body underneath here. And I've got another thing to use that I'll zip these off with. And let me grab the tools and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, these are the new blades. Uh, just picked these up at the local John Deere dealership. Uh, these sell for a little less than $100 for a set. Not that outrageous. I usually, uh, well, I'm gonna try something new this year. Uh, I, there's a friend of mine that lives up the road who uh, is really great at sharpening blades. So I'm gonna try, instead of getting a new set each year, starting this year, when I take this old set off, and I'll show you what the old set looks like uh, once I get it off, uh, I'm gonna try having them sharpened and then just alternate instead of having to replace. So anyway, I'm gonna put these set on and get ready for the fall mowing season. And the way I do it, this particular machine uh, takes the sockets 24 millimeter, and I use this and this usually pops them off real fast and easy, and these don't take that long to change out. So anyway, with having the lift to raise it up, and easy access and having this, this is less than a 30 minute job. It takes just as long to get all your tools out as it does to actually do it and you'll see that here in a sec. Right, one of the things I wanted to show you guys is a comparison between the old and the new. So I'll show you here. You can see, let me slide this down a little bit. You can see this edge versus this. You can see that this part of the metal has been eaten away a little bit. And it's definitely, if I tip, this is definitely dull down compared to this, not a sharp edge. So, But I think these blades are in plenty good shape to have them sharpened and try to use them again for springtime. So we will definitely try doing the alternations and see how that works. So anyway, let's get the other two put on. Okay, so the blades are changed and now I'm gonna reverse the process and just lower everything back down nice and gentle and then we'll go do a test run and see how she cuts now. Okay, so the blades are cutting fantastic, and I kind of, if I can get the camera to pick this up, it's getting late in the day, but let me see if I can get down here to, yeah, let me look at, if you can see 
this blade. Let me see if I can get down there close enough. You see how it looks like it just cut it with a like a pair of scissors? That's what you want. You don't want it to be cut like it's being beat down. So with a nice sharp blade, you've seen where it just cuts that dude off just nice and easy and sharp, uh, nice clean edges, and it just keeps your grass healthy. So guys, anyway, I hope this encourages you to keep your blade sharpened. Uh, for me, again, I am do so much mowing. I have so much property to keep up. I do my blade shift outs twice a year and uh, you know try to keep a sharp set on. And I try to do a fresh set for the spring mowing and then uh, especially a fresh set for the fall. Because to me, around here, with the fescue and once it turns a little bit cooler the fescue grass just grows explodes and it just becomes so pretty and you just have an even prettier yard when you mow it with fresh blades anyway guys this is a kind of a short video today but i just again wanted to show you guys the steps through uh, uh changing the blades how fast and easy it can be and the little tricks i do by using uh the front end loader on my tractor and that impact driver so guys thanks so much for tuning in i appreciate it so much for now you guys have a great week upcoming stay safe and thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.